Now let's look at the Faber test or the flexion abduction external rotation test. Now this test is going to check hip joint issues, sacroiliac joint problems, or tight musculature in and around those joints. So starting out, patient is supine. You're going to passively bring the hip into flexion to 90 degrees, then into AB abduction. And lastly, you're going to externally rotate, bringing the foot onto the opposite leg, stabilizing at the ASIS and putting a downward pressure on the knee. Now, a negative test would be if this knee on the right side is in line with or below the height of the opposite leg. A positive test would be perhaps a limited range of motion to here or pain that's elicited either in the hip, the SI joint, or the musculature. So when performing this test, make sure you're discussing it with your patient and asking questions so they can help direct you in terms of what they're feeling. So that is the Faber test. Now let's demonstrate the Thomas test. Now this is a test that's looking for an iliopsoas contracture. Before starting this test, you want to observe the patient and check for a hyperlordosis or an increased lordosis of the lumbar spine, which is quite common in someone who has a tightened or shortened iliopsoas muscle. Patient is supine again, and this time they're going to assist. So Lindsay, we're going to bend the knee and pull the, uh, hold the knee with both hands and pull this up as far as you can towards your chest. What we're observing for is the opposite leg. Ask the patient if they're feeling any strain or pain in the opposite groin. Any symptoms? No. And a positive test would be that this leg would come up off the table. So perhaps something like this that would demonstrate a shortened and contracted iliopsoas on this side. So that is the Thomas test. Change is gonna come.